Well, the I has been added to LGBT because the intersex movement has found a key ally in the LGBT movement. The I came as a result of intersex people advocating and saying, we want a space in here as well. But recognizing that there's a need for an intersex specific space. I think the most common issue that we hear about are the medical practices, the, the medically unnecessary non-consensual surgeries and treatments that are performed on intersex children, adolescents, adults. And these surgeries, these treatments, have now been recognized as huge violations of human rights, you know. They've been recognized also by UN uh, human rights bodies as being a form of torture, that, um, that they are a form of mutilation. The Intersex Human Rights Fund was created as a reaction to address a gap in resources and funding for intersex-led work. It's, it's work, groups, projects that are really informed by intersex people and work that is done for intersex people. This is why we say we fund and support intersex-led groups, and by that my, we mean where the decisions are taken by intersex people. Um, so you might find LGBTI organization where intersex people are making decisions, but sometimes that's not the case. So just to be careful about what it means to add the I to the name. So both as an activist and as a donor now, um, my role has been to really support and sustain um, the groups and individuals, because we're talking about individuals, and, and build relationships, you know, meaningful relationships. I think knowing how the direct impact that even a small grant, you know, can have on people's lives, um, it, I think that's enough to get me up in the morning.